Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have a 3v3 Iron Man, if you don't know how Iron Mans work, uh, the first player will play against the other player, you know, if they lose, they go down, if they lose, they go down, and then until one team is standing and then that team wins, this is 30 ahead, so the winning team will win $90, and the losing team will lose $90, and we have Team Red versus Team Blue, and let's just hop right in. So we have Incognito 1 versus Ponchik, and let's hop right into the first match. So we are going to see Pawn win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoe, and then they can decide if they want to go first or second. Looking at deck counts, we have 40 versus 43, and then we are going to see Pawn be going first. Opening hands. Uh, also, just uh, throwing this out there, this was actually hosted before the LCS. Uh, I just had like a lot of stuff to do, like Saturday, Sunday, um, Monday and Tuesday, like all those upload upload days were kind of full. So this was actually hosted before the LCS. So I'll just throwing that out there. But opening hands, we have Zeta, Nova, Draco Nits, Talents, and Preps. So no hand traps. They do have Talents as a going second card, and then they have Lamp Seas, Mystic Mind, Bell, Instant Fusion, and Field Spell. So this is good. They all they are also playing the Mystic Mind, which not a lot of people are on right now. They're going to activate the Prank Kids Field spell, searching out water from the deck to the hand, normal summon water, and then go for Meow. So they're not doing the uh, activate instant fusion, summon out, and then normal summon play. They are just going for this, which does get hit harder by like an Ash Blossom. And go ahead and summon. Uh, also, they forgot to gain the thousand. Let's see if they end up remembering. And then get those effects. Dump, add fusion spell. Uh, not going to summon off of that, so not playing in the nib. Are they really going to forget the thousand? I think they are. Wow, they, they really forgot the thousand off the water. Unfortunate. Then they draw Ben 10. They're going to go ahead and activate Zeta, tribute Ben 10, summon out, search the Drytron Ritual spell, and then Ben 10 effect, grab Diviner. Normal summon Diviner effect, send to Elder. Elder effect that's going to force the back row. You know, they're going to activate it here. And then that's going to get rid of three. Summon out Battle Butler. And then get all those effects. They're going to you know, summon, summon, summon. Uh, they do have to burn five, gain a thousand, and dump one. Um, yeah, they're just making sure that they got the money. Also, uh, they forgot to dump one. They just keep forgetting, like, a prank kit effect. They did gain a thousand off the first turn water, but, like, now they forgot to dump off of this. Like, ah. Uh. Then activate prep. Go grab Idaton. Then get rid of those two. Go for Nightmare Phoenix. Nightmare Phoenix effect. Pop the field spell. Talents to take. And then they're going to chain this to tribute itself to pop Nightmare Phoenix. And then they're going to take the wind. Activate Nova, and this is a level 1, which is a bit unfortunate for the opponent. Then make Link Karibo, Gamma Effect, Chain Bell, and then link those two off for Anaconda. So it being a level 1 actually just didn't come up there. Uh, but it could have, definitely could have if they didn't have Bell. And then they're going to go ahead and dump, summon out Dragoon, Dragoon Effect, uh, times 2, pop, pop. And then Battle Phase Attack, Attack. So. The thing is, is this could just be like a Mystic Mind deck out. Draw Skill Drain. Also main deck and Skill Drain, by the way. Activate Instant Fusion, pay a thousand, summon out Rocket Ride, and then a Rocket Ride effect, Tribute, Chain Dragoon, Mystic Mind set Skill Drain pass. Oh gosh, that is just game. They're gonna just they're just gonna sit on this, right? Oh, they're not? Uh to be fair, they can go for the strategy where you just start like burning for 500. You can end up rocket riding. Uh, you know, they're going to go like doodle here and then like tribute it off a of field. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, fair enough. Trying to actually end the game quicker rather than just going for like a straight deck out. Uh, go for doodle, get those effects. Burn, add pranks. Not going to summon. And then doodle effect, tribute, add back fire, and add back water. And then activate pranks, end phase. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, they're eventually just going to admit defeat. I don't think they have an out in their main deck. I'd be rather surprised. 
But going on to game number two, we are going to see the Dragoon Drachon deck decide to go first. Open hand is Red Eyes Black Dragon, Emergency Twin, Orange Light Twin. Oh my gosh, this hand's horrible. And they have Fire, Fusion Spell, Roxy Spell, Ash. Oh, and their hand's nasty. Best of luck, man. <laughs> Emergency, go grab Alpha, set one pass, draw Gamma. Uh, said best of luck, and then they just draw like that. Battle phase, go ahead and poke. Main phase two, go meow. Roxy's effect. And then that's going to banish fusion spell. Okay, okay. Um, I was thinking like maybe banish this, but if they're just going to end with no monster, then I guess Gamma isn't bad. And then draw Nib. So they have multiple hand traps, multiple different hand traps too. Go for Doodle, and then get those effects. They're gonna dump, add Fusion Spell, and then Doodle Tribute, add back Water, and add back Wind. There's so many cards in hand. Set, uh, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. Yeah, they uh, got a discard there. Um, they just forgot to do that. Um, that is a bit unfortunate. Emergency, go grab Zeta. And then Alpha Effect, Tribute, Zeta, they're going to chain Gamma to that. Wow, they really forgot to make the discard one. And then draw Roxy's. That reminds me of the time I was playing next to my buddy at a regional, and uh, my buddy did not really play the game that much, like at all. Like, he literally just went there with Mystic Mind, because like, you, know, you don't really not, you don't really have to know like the game to play that deck. And I, he was literally playing right next to me, and I was playing against a guru. Super intense game. He taps me on the shoulder. He's like, hey, what's the hand size? And I was like, uh, at end phase, it's six. And his opponent goes, no, no, it's seven. And I was like, bro, I, I promise you it's six, but just call a judge. I, I really need to focus here. <laughs> it's like the, the, the weirdest question I've ever been asked, but it was like super funny to me. Just because like, you know, he, he didn't know the game. His opponent didn't know the game. He actually ended up almost getting his invite at that tournament, too. And that was his first time playing Yu-Gi-Oh! in, like, two years or something like that. It was wild. It was, like, during the Striker Orcus format, too. And then go for Meow. Fire Effect. Burn. Summon out Roxies. And then turn those into Doodle. Get those effects. Go ahead. Grab Pranks. And then Banish. Draw summon so I, again like there's just no way that the prank kids player loses here tribute add back and then activate pranks discard summon token turn token and water into bow wow gang a thousand summon out wind battle phase go ahead and poke then main phase two set end phase go ahead and draw one let's see can we get another hand trap oh, okay okay um that is a hand trap Gotta discard friend phase, alright, they remembered this time. Draw gamma. In draw phase, bow wow effect tribute to add back wind and add back roxies. And then alpha tribute gamma, chain ash blossom. And then they say indigo 3 is next. Okay, so hopping on to the next match, we are going to see blue still have 3 left and red only have 2. So hopping on to the next one, we see indigo 3. Versus Ponchik said, Good luck, good luck. And then we see Team Red win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot is 40 versus 43. Opening hands we have Gamma, Rescue Cat, Tanky, Twin, Prosperity. This is really good. They have Bell, Imperm, Ash, Fire, Wind. This is, all, this is also not bad, definitely not bad. So they're going to start off by a normal summoning out Cat think imperm that nice i wish i would have asked the effect that would have just been wild and then cat effect uh, just to get itself off of board and then go grab fractal and then prosperity banishing six looking at the banishes and then mill six uh, so playing a lot of twin twisters in the deck and then here they're going to grab a kit and then put those back to the bottom of the deck there. And then activate Fractal Effects. 
Oh, they're letting this go through. Uh, obviously trying to play around the gamma. Cause like, you know, they attributed rescue cat for a reason. And then go dump Nerval, Nerval, add Kuraz. Special summon out Kuraz by getting rid of Kit. And then Kuraz effect, that will banish two. Summon Bear Bloom, and then get rid of those for a silver. Should have been in this zone. And then Bear Bloom, grab Revol, and put back the gamma. Set one pass. So they didn't even want to, like, Ash the Bear Bloom effect. I guess it's just because, like, you have Ash for next turn. Um... And you can like just bell hit the revolt. They do draw field spell there and then activate that to go grab Roxy's, normal summon Roxy's, revolt bell. And then meow, chain block, banish wind, draw wind, summon water. And then turn those into doodle, get those effects. They're going to gang a thousand and add the fusion spell, no summon, end of main phase, activate the effect, summon out Nerval. And then go ahead and beat over the silver. Um, they do have tanky up, so it should only be a hundred. Uh, a lot of people forget like the the tanky boost on stuff like this. They're used to only doing it to like fractal. And then doodle tribute to add back water and add back Roxy's. And then set the fusion spell pass. Draw rescue cat, and then. During standby phase, they could have also done this with turn player priority. Uh, they're going to hit the fusion spell, uh, not hitting the field spell. I guess to play around like an imperm. I feel like that card would have just been set though. No? Uh, normal summon out Nerval. Then activate Nerval effect. Banish 4, summon Omen. And then Omen effect. Okay, okay, so they wanted to banish because they were going for this. I guess that's fair, because, like, if you get hit with, like, a Veiler on this, uh, like, if Nerval gets stopped, you kind of just, like, lose anyways. So, like, if this doesn't come out, you just already lost. It doesn't matter if you pop that or not. And then turn those into a Blossom. You're going to get Omen and Nerval. Chain Ash to stop Nerval, but they still get the Fractal to hand. They just don't want them adding a card, which is fair, because they could, like, Banish two, summon out Bear Bloom, attack, and then go like Appalooza, and then grab Revolt and put a card back. Now they don't have a card to put back. And then Battle Phase, go Poke. It's going to be 36 damage. And then Main Phase 2, Fractal Effect. That's going to banish two, summon out Double Dragon Lords, and then pass turn, draw Field Spell. And then activate Field Spell. Um. They could have just, like, banished to summon this prior. Like, wouldn't it have Nerval just been, like, the card to hit with, like, a Gamma? I, I feel like that might have happened just because, like, whatever. You go search a Tri Brigade, but then you're just passing turn anyways. And then they just, like, set up a Battle Butler and they win. Cause like a battle butler just like beats a tri brigade. Double dragon lords, go ahead and bounce that, beginning rid of tanky. All they have is normal summons, so they do just lose here. Turn those into an Appalooza. Uh, not using Blossom effect to draw. And then go ahead and banish three, summon Doom Eagle. And then make access code, effect gang attack. And then battle phase game. So going on to the next game, we are going to see Pawn decided to go first, the prank kids player. Opening hands, we have Kit, Prosperity, Revol, Ash, Twin. This is nice, you know, they have Ash as a hand trap, Twin discarding Kit, and then they have Called by, Terraforming, Rock, Seeds, Fire, and Bell. So, no fusion spell, uh, but Called by will allow them to play into, well, like past the Ash Blossom. And then they're going to add Normal Summon, Meow, Ash, called by and then banish draw bell unfortunate that they drew like multiples of those summon out wind and then go for doodle effects they are going to dump and then add and then doodle effect tribute to add back and then set fusion spell pass draw gamma they're gonna go standby phase um Think a sec, place is the way to go, only set. 
So again, um, I guess like not trying to play into like an imperm, and then go down Nerval, Nerval, add Fractal, and then activate Prosperity, uh, banish six, or they've only banished five there. And then mill six, they don't have to be afraid of Ash Blossom because it is currently under called by. So here they are going to be taking the kit. And then put those back. Summon Fractal, Effect, Banish two. Um, summon out Blossom, Blossom, Summon Kit. And then turn those two into a Silver. Battle phase, go ahead and attack. Uh, they could have Kit summon Double Dragon Lords. Yeah, uh, and then just set pass. So choosing to not go for an Appaloosa here. I I feel like this was played weird, for sure. Pass, draw water. The thing is, is the double Dragon Lords is actually just like gonna make the prank kids player fold here. Dump Nerval, add Kit. End the main phase, silver, summon, and phase hand. Combo. And then still end phase, activate revolt, chain bell to stop that. Pass, draw twin. And then normal summon out Nerval. Nerval, well, okay, they only have one engraver so they can't activate that. And then turn those into access code. Uh, Nerval 1, access code 2. And then they can just say battle phase and go for game. So we are going to see Bill Wee next. A hey, shout out Bill. Uh, so actually, I uh, I was talking to like some people not long ago. I was talking about like the most liked people on my channel, and I'm pretty sure it is Ryan Yu, Nash, Bill Wee, Paulo. I, I think those are the only people, and like Pierre. I, I think those uh. Breaker was getting a lot of love on the channel, but then they stopped playing the Thunder Dragon deck. So I'm gonna go with those five people, probably like the most like loved people on the channel. Um, I think so, unless I'm just like forgetting someone. But going on to the next match, we are going to see both teams have two people left. And then we are going to see Incognito versus Bill Wee. And we're gonna see Bill win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot. And then they are going to be deciding to go second, 40 versus 40. Gotta love to see it. They're most likely yeah, on striker since they chose to go second. Opening hands, we have Kuraz, Ash, Prosperity, Driver, Nerval. And then they have Ash, Widow, Imperm, Shark, and Ray. So their hand is nice, you know, having multiple hand traps versus the Tri Brigade deck, including a Monster Negate. And then Prosperity, Banish 6. Yeah, and then this is going to go through. Oh my gosh, and they hit order. <laughs> oh, that's rough. Like game two, three, you always ash blossom the prosperity. Um, because otherwise they have like anti spells and order. But game one it's fair enough if you don't, you just like save it for an engine. Uh but they're definitely uh it's gonna it's gonna be rough. I mean, like, they're definitely not out of it here, but sucks to see. Nerval, Chain Ash. I see, like, they, they just have no, like, engine here. Uh, tribute for Driver. <laughs> oh, gosh. Draw Valor. I guess really hoping that a uh, Driver can get them there. Go for Hayate. Battle phase. Attack directly. And then affect the dump. Dump Hornet Drones. And then main phase two. Summon Kagari. Kagari effect. They said, hmm... Then they're going to flip order here before Hornet goes to hand. And then go for a Shiz. Set Imperm. End phase. Shiz effect. And then go grab Engage. Pass turn. Draw Kit. Take 7. So that's not a bad draw. But if they summon that out, then when they use the effect, they're going to get hit with Valor. They're going to have to crash that into the Shiz. Yeah, effect, banish, chain valor. 
And then battle phase, crash in the shiz. Uh, you have to do that there, or else Imperm can target this to negate it and turn off order. Uh, this could just be like a bluff spell, but you know, why why risk it? Kit dump Nerval, and then Nerval effect to go surge, grabbing Fractal. And then just go ahead, pass. Uh, choosing to not attack, I guess they don't want them to go into like a shiz and go search and get like closer to drawing a monster you know because you get a spell out of deck summon hayate attack directly and then effect dumping the eagle booster and then set widow go for shiz end phase shiz effect and then there's gonna search out a multi-roll pass draw ash so they don't have a lot of time left. They're only at 21, which is a multiple of 7. So next turn 7, their turn 7, next turn 7. Thing is, this can be outed by your own card effects if necessary. Like, you can omen out it, uh, double dragon lord send it. Um, so we're going to see them normal summon out fractal. And then fractal effect. Banish two, and then chain imperm. I, you know, you just kind of have to do that, and then they're gonna poke, and then ray effect will trigger, and ray effect most likely going to go for a kinda here, yeah, kinda, and then pass. Oh my gosh, they still don't have a monster. Um, but the thing is, is they are going to be forced to do some awkward plays. Oh wait, they just go for Hayate. <laughs> Never mind. so as long as they play three Hayate, it's just game. Yeah. Burr! <laughs> Got it. Uh, like, as a Tri Brigade player, I know how it feels to lose to Striker when you open up Order. It sucks, but it does happen, for sure. And then, going on to the next game, we are going to see Bill decide uh, well, Bill is going to be forced to go first, not deciding to go first. And then opening hands is Nerval, Cat, Tanky, Anti, Tanky, so this is going to be good. And they have Nib, Cosmic, Imperm, Bell, Afterburners, so just pass. Draw Twin. And then Summon Cat, Imperm, Activate Tanky. And then that will go search out Fractal. So this is a really bad spot for Bill. And they're going to go dump Kit. Kit Effect. Dump Nerval, Nerval, go search the Extender, and then Special Summon the Extender by getting rid of Nerval, and then activate that effect, Banish, and then Special Summon out the Bear Bloom, Battle Phase, go Poke, uh, yeah, go Poke for 32, and then Main Phase 2, turn all those into Appalooza, Bear Bloom, search out Revolt, and then putting back Tanky, set to pass, uh, choosing to not set Twin, I guess trying to like play around like an opponent's Twin Twisters or something, uh, you know, kind of just like let them hit your Revolt and you chain it, and then like you get to keep your Twin for the following turn. Flip Anti-Spell, chain Cosmic to hit it, and then Afterburners, out the Appalooza, End phase, revolt, chain bell, draws a rescue cat. Uh, they do have the targets for it, but it is gonna get hit with Valor. The thing is, is like if you Valor rescue cat and you have no plays next turn, the rescue cat can just use its effect next turn, and they don't have anything. Unfortunate. Like a rose there would have been just absolutely insane. But now they just go ahead and cat tribute. And then summon out Kit, summon out Karaz, turn those into Blossom, Kit effect to go dump, and that's going to dump a Nerval, and then Nerval effect to search, searching out from the deck to a hand, a Fractal, so they have summoned three times, Blossom, summon, and then just go battle phase and attack for game. So going on to game three, we are going to see Bill decide for the opponent to go first, Opening hands, we have Fractal, Revolt, Prosperity, Order, Cat. Ugh. And then they have Gamma, Ray, Widow, Gamma, Area Zero. So let's see, can they top deck and out to this? And then, Activate Prosperity. 
Spanish six. They got mill six. They're gonna grab one of the monsters there. And then go ahead and put those back. Normal summon out cat. And then cat effect, tribute. And this is going through here. Uh, not wanting to play into a gamma or anything. You know, you can just hold your gamma for one of the tribrigate effects. Usually uh, pays off pretty well. Dump Nerval at Fractal. And then Blossom Summon effect. Let's see, how many do they banish? They're going to banish two and then chain gamma. Summon out Driver. Summon out Gamma. And then special summon out Kuraz by getting rid of Fractal. And then, you know, they're still just going to go ahead and effective Kuraz, banish four, and then summon out Omen. So if they do play, well, I, I guess, like, no matter what they, I, I, well, you go ahead, like, if you have Crow, you go grab it. Yeah, I was going to say, like, maybe they grab a follow-up, but I'm pretty sure if you just have Crow, you grab it. All right, they're going to go grab Nerval. And then set two pass. They draw twin. Oh, they did draw an out. You go main phase, widow on Appaloosa, chain order, chain twin. Gosh, the the Bill has actually have like he has the cheat codes. Okay. It's, it's simple as that. No no other words need to be said. Actually just has the cheat codes. Wild. <laughs> like actually just top decking twin like that. Oh, uh, this was summoned properly by using the kit and the Kuraz. Then get rid of those, go for silver, then you're going to be getting the effects. And then go ahead and grab Kuraz, draw, put back. They also play three Kuraz. Then area zero, summon ray, area zero one, ray two, combo, uh, chain silver, trying to play around like a widow here, summon out Nerval. And then mill three, they get a multi roll there, and then put those back. This isn't looking good for Sky Striker though. Activate multi roll effect, get rid of area zero, summon out Rose, and then battle phase attack over Appaloosa, attack directly, and then Hayate effect to go dump engage, main phase two, turn those into Zeke, and then Zeke effect. That will be hitting the silver. I actually, I'm very okay when my silver gets hit with Zeke. Because then if I end on an omen, like if I get hit with a widow, usually if they like snatch something up, then silver comes back at end phase and so does omen. And then you have like a banish for next turn, which is like decent. They go for Kagari, Kagari effect, grab back engage, then activate engage, grab widow, and then draw into rose. And then go for Shiz. Actually, you know, I was like, you know, this isn't looking good for Striker, but they actually just have double Widow. Uh, I, I, I don't know why. For, like, some reason, uh, I just wasn't, like, calculating Nerval bouncing back to hand. I was like, oh, well, you know, they have Nerval on board. They have Kuraz. They have Nerval Surge. But that's just not the case. So it's actually looking really good for Sky Striker. That's my bad. End phase, Shiz effect. And then they're going to grab Eagle. So not going... Or I guess they activate this and then just go ahead and set Eagle and Widow. I also missed the Widow engrave. I'm really uh like commentating sloppy right now. And then pass. Oh my gosh. The the amount of twin twisters that have been top decked this match. That's the only reason why Bill's still in this. That's the only reason why they're still in this. Like that's actually just crazy. <laughs> yeah, they're going to go ahead, chains. Uh, just that way, like, multi-roll. And then normal summon, effect. This will go ahead, banish three, summon out Doom Eagle. Doom Eagle effect, put back Ray. And then turn those into access code, effect, king attack.
then they're going to go access code banish pop multi roll effect banish pop area zero and then summon Kuraz Kuraz effect banish summon omen omen effect and then that's going to banish shiz battle phase go for game wow that that was insane <laughs> like that oh my gosh just twin twisters holy so now we see team blue only have one left versus reds two so obviously red has the advantage here they also have the momentum and let's see going on to the next match we are going to see you know number three on red versus jackalope 24 we're going to see jackalope win the rock paper scissors shoot and decide to go first 40 versus 40 gotta love to see it Opening hands, we have Tanky, Ash, Gamma, Order, Gamma, Hop Ad, and then they have Gamma, Kit, Twin, Prosperity, Strike. Also, um, not bad, not like super crazy. They're going to go ahead and Banish 6. And then Mill 6. They're going to have to grab a Karaz there. Kind of crazy how they didn't see like a starter. Like they can obviously play here, but they didn't see like a Fractal, a Tanky, or like a Cat. And they're going to Kuraz, get rid of Kit, summon, and then activate Kit effect. They're going to chain Ash Blossom to that. And then set Strike Pass, draw Revolt. And then go ahead and activate Tanky. Grab Fractal. And then Fractal effect, they are letting this go through. Go dump Kit, go dump Nerval. Nerval effect, searching out the Kit. And then normal summon Kit. Effect. It's gonna banish two just to change strike. Why not just strike a like the the fractal hand effect? Like if you're gonna strike kit, you're setting up revolt. But aren't you just also playing into like the same things like plus more? Because now they'll have like multiple like um, they'll have another name in graveyard if they go ahead and summon out Karaz. Am I just wrong there? I guess like this plays around like cat better. I guess that's like the argument. Yeah, I I guess it's like fair, but you know, it is playing in the revolt pretty hard here. Just unfortunate. Pass, draw fractal. That's uh that, that's pretty good. Twin to try to hit the back row, and then Emptiness told me pause Iron Man. Okay, uh, they're going to chain order to twin. They should take 700 because it was in standby. Yep. Fractal effect, dump itself. Think chain gamma as chain link 2, chain link 3, revolt. Please don't slow roll like that. It is really BM. Uh, just wondering, when did they... Uh, uh, it's taking like a minute to activate Gamma. Yeah, I, I mean, it was pretty obvious how that was like to play. You know, you Gamma stop that, you Revolt, you Omen out this, and they have no cards. But, I don't know if it was BM, maybe they're just, uh, you knew with the deck, I, I, I don't know. But we are going to see Jackalope be going first this game. Opening hands, we have Contact C, DD Crow, Nerval, Prosperity, Fractal, so keeping this card in. Also... It's questionable how they didn't add this versus the striker matchup. But we do see Contact Seed. I've been pushing this card a lot. I think this card is very solid. And then they have Strike, Revolt, Judgment, Phantasmi, Prosperity. So let's see where this uh, Prosperity can get them. Now they're, they're going to need something here. And then go ahead and mill 6. Grab Fractal. So they did see a starter off of that. And then go ahead and put those back to the bottom of the deck here. And then Fractal Effect. Dump. Dump Kit. Dump Nerval. And then Nerval Effect. This is going to be searching out a Kit. And then Normal Summon. So the uh, the Contact C is just not going to be... Like the Contact C nor the Veiler are actually going to be like good here. Oh. Okay, never mind. I thought they were going to go for a double Dragon Lords there. 
but they are going to go for a Doom Eagle. So now the contact C actually does something. Yeah, if they went for like a double Dragon Lords, then like contact C actually just wouldn't have affected them. Pass, draw Ash. Then they're going to activate Prosperity. They do at least have like a Doom Eagle interruption. Uh, like that, that's something from this. And then go ahead and grab Twin Twisters. And then put those back. So the Twin Twisters is going to be... Oh, never mind. I was going to say it's going to be a one for one if they get rid of Nerve. Hope, but they didn't. They're going to chain Judgment. Go ahead and get rid of that. And then Fractal Effect. Chain Strike to stop that. And then they're thinking here. Uh, normal Summon Nerve Wall. Activate Doom Eagle. And then go ahead and put back Crow. Pass, draw tanky. Yeah, this is uh this is pretty good. Go for Appalooza and then activate tanky, grab fractal, and then activate fractal effect to ditch, chain ash, just negate, obviously. Go dump, go dump, uh nerval effect, grab Karaz, and then activate kit effect, banishing three, summon out silver. Get rid of those for access code, affect the gain attack, normal summon Karaz, effect. And now moving on to game three, we are going to see this Tri Brigade player, uh, Incognito, be going first. Opening hand, we have Prosperity, Imperm, Tanky, Kit, Cat, so they do have a normal summon and an extender, and also like a Prosperity mill, and then they have Revolt, Gamma, Droll, Imperm, Phantasmi. Currently, they don't have a way to play. And also, like a lot of their cards are like conflicting with each other. Like, literally, all these somewhat conflict with each other. Like, if you drop Gamma, you can't Imperm. If you drop Phantasma, you can't Imperm. Like, if you drop Phantasma, you can't Gamma. If you drop Droll, you can't Phantasma. Like, they're all just, like, somewhat conflicting with each other one way or another. That's crazy. And then, Normal Summon Out, Rescue Cat. They're going to Imperm that. Activate Tanky. Searching out a Fractal from the deck to the hand. And then Fractal Effect, go dump Kit, Kit Effect, dump Nerval, Nerval, at Karaz. And then try to Special Summon out Karaz by getting rid of Kit, and then Karaz Effect, Banish 2, Chain Gamma, get that out of here. And then Summon Driver, and then Activate Prosperity, you know, Banish 6, it's definitely going to hit something solid here, like maybe a, like a Revolt maybe. So they're going to go grab Prosperity, you know, showing that their hand is uh, rather weak, set, but do they draw an out to Cat? Nope. Ha, oh, that's so bad. Yeah, that's really bad. So now they just go ahead and effect. Well, it's the second time we've seen this. In this Iron Man, that's probably happened to me like twice ever. Like every time I'm like, oh, please, please don't have it. Please don't have it. I always have order too. Whenever I do like the cat, leave it on board. I always have order and I'm like, come on, come on. Don't, don't have a starter besides a spell. Don't do it. And then they're like normal. And I'm like, wow, you're really going to do this to me right now? You're really just going to beat over this cat? Unfortunate. And then turn those into Blossom. Kit effect. Oh, they're waiting for another link. And then... Blossom, summon Fractal, Fractal Effect, that will go ahead and banish 4, summon Omen, and then Omen Effect, Chain Link 1, Phantasma, Chain Link 2, summon, draw 3, put back 2, uh, it's like their their hand trap is uh, again like colliding with their board here, and then go ahead and summon Kuraz, you know they haven't normaled yet, the cat was already on board, banish, Doom Eagle, Doom Eagle Effect, Put back draw, and now they just have like another bad draw. Battle phase, attack, and then go ahead. 28 plus 24 plus 3000. Uh, that is, uh, should just be 82, as long as I'm not dumb. But obviously, if they calculated it, it's got to be like 82. Um, so GG's. We are going to see Team Red win here. They had two left standing, and Blue now has zero 
So, uh, yeah, we are going to see Team Red win the $90 here. Team Blue loses the $90. There was some unfortunate stuff like uh, Bill, um, he top deck twin to stay in the game, and the opponent then top deck twin to win the game. Like, wild. Uh, but overall, this is not a bad Iron Man. It didn't feel like a long Iron Man. It probably still is a long video just because, you know, there's four matches in it. Uh, what, what can I do? Like, just make, make it quicker? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be all for that. And with this being said, the DB Grinder signing off. P oh, my gosh. I forgot to shout out the Coliseum. I'm so bad. You know, I always just forget to do shout outs. Like, it's horrible. I don't know why I always forget to do it. But make sure to go check out the Coliseum Discord down below in the description. That's where all of these wager matches, money matches, uh, tournaments. They even plan on doing tournaments on the new platform the new simulator that comes out when it comes out and with that being said the db grinder signing off peace have a nice day stay safe